What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're starting from inside the house. Here's Ranger. Ranger, wave. Come on, give everybody a nux. Yeah. All right. So today we're going to head up to Adams Polishes here in Colorado, up in Thornton. I'm going to get some uh, detail stuff. Specifically, I'm going for some ceramic spray because I want to detail my truck and uh, kind of show you guys what I do to do that with a clay bar and all that good stuff. But Let's get going. Let's go meet the boys. We're going to meet Zach and Michael. You saw them in one of the videos where we worked on his Tacoma, but we're going to go meet them. They're going to cruise with us and we are going to Adam's Polishes. We are on our way to meet the boys, but you guys, we've hit spring and this is what I'm talking about. This weather is windows down weather. Like in Colorado, you just never know what you're going to get in spring. Spring doesn't mean necessarily nice. Spring means bipolar, okay? One day we could get snow, the next day it's 75 degrees. It's pretty whack. I think we even have snow in the forecast for this upcoming week, but uh, we're almost there to get the guys. All right, so while we wait for these boys, we're cruising through these dealerships, because you know, we're always looking for cars, but one of these Range Rovers would be so badass. This is uh, just the new Range Rover. It's not the Sport or anything like that. It's not brand new, but gosh, that thing is clean. But Cadillac, they always have a stacked lineup of clean used cars, I mean. I mean, how can you not your Cadillac dealership? Look at this thing right here. What do we got? Hellcat, Charger, Dream. You know, want that so bad. Let's go look at it real quick. Man, this thing is ridiculous. Look how like deep and like, God, the offset on these is incredible for a car, but who knew? Look, it's a 2021 20, Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Red Eye Wide Body, 92 grand. I think we're gonna pass on that for now, but that thing is wicked. If the market for used trucks right now wasn't absolutely effing insane, We'd be trading our truck in for this, but that truck right there, they want $80,000 for it. It's a 2019 Ford Raptor. Granted, it's loaded, but still, 80 grand for a used Raptor. I mean, that's insane. That truck was cheaper than that new. I know I keep talking about it, but at some point we're getting a daily driver, but check this out. Here's another car that's on that list. This thing is wicked. Look at these. What are they? Giovanna wheels. This is a 2016 Range Rover Sport Autobiography 57K. That's not too bad. It's got a nice orange interior. It's locked so we can't see it, but man, this thing is wicked, okay? I would love to have this as a daily with. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top So you better back off, I get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down I'll be getting loud, you can have me douse, not what I'm about Have your fucking cloud, it be raining now, I keep making sound Go another round, bitch I'm legend bound, can't stop me now all right, you guys, I did a horrible job of filming when we went to Adam's Polishes. I just got a quick little clip and then a quick little clip of the gym. Had to get that in real quick. Uh, you know, can't avoid that. We literally parked at the gym to meet, so uh, just made sense to go work out. And I didn't get much video of the boys at all, but we did get what we needed to get from Adam's Polishes. We got some ceramic coating spray. I'm gonna run to the store real quick and grab a few more things that I need that were cheaper just to go grab at Walmart. And uh, we're gonna get back, get the truck washed up real quick and get to uh, Clay Bar in this truck. All right, you guys, we're back from the store, we're back from the gym, we're back from Adam's Polishes. We got some fresh towels, but there it is, Ceramic Express. So I'm gonna go wash the truck real quick. I'll probably get a quick video, just like two seconds thing of me just going over it because I'm not gonna do a super, super good job because we're gonna bring this thing in the garage here and we're gonna Clay Bar it and we're gonna make this thing smooth as can be and then we're gonna put that ceramic coating on it. So. Let me get after this wash real quick. You don't really need to see me washing the car. Um, it's not super important, but I will show you a little more when it comes to putting on this ceramic spray. What we do need and what we are gonna do is move these golf bags so we can get to this power washer because that's how we're gonna get this thing looking real pretty, okay? My dad has had to fix this thing three times now, I think. Three different little uh, units down here, whatever that is, keeps busting open and leaking. It's because it gets water in it and freezes, but. Hopefully that doesn't happen because we're back into nicer weather. All right, so we've got the truck all washed. I need to get out there and dry it really quick using a chamois before it uh, dries up and leaves hard water spots. Even though it doesn't matter because we're about to detail it and, and clay bar it, but uh, let me get it dried real quick and we'll get it in the garage. She's mostly dry. It's not perfect, like I said. Doesn't need to be. 
because we're gonna get it inside and clay bar it. We're definitely not gonna have time to detail the inside today, which is kind of a bummer, but I also don't wanna be up till midnight just detailing my truck because I'm pretty sure I have to drive on a dirt road tomorrow. So that's kind of awesome. Not really, but you know, it is what it is. Part of the job. Guys, I know I'm close up. Truck's in the garage. Um, I need to get the power washer and stuff cleaned up, but then we can get started on detailing this thing. I need lights. I'm gonna turn on some music so I'm not gonna film every you know waking second of me detailing the truck because uh, you'd be so freaking bored with that, but I will definitely touch on uh, everything that I do to it. So we got everything cleaned up. I'm gonna start prepping this, but we got our clay bars in here. I went and bought some quick detail. Everyone uses different things, but I got some chemical guys, quick detailer. That's what I'm gonna use to clay bar it. I'm gonna spray this on here and then take the clay bar and freaking dig it in and get all that grime out. But uh, let me get fully set up and prepared and uh, get my little step ladder and I'll show you guys exactly how I'm doing it. Some people will say this is a very important step. Some will say it's not, but your clay bar, get that thing all nice and warmed up and pliable so you can really use this thing. So I'm gonna do this for about, I don't know, five minutes or so and uh, get this thing really, uh, really going. So the hood is done. Um, you might be able to see it's a little more shiny, but it'll definitely make a bigger difference when I get the ceramic coating on it. But uh, now we've got the whole rest of the truck to do. So we're gonna be here another few hours, but the hood is done. I'm actually gonna work my way back. I'm doing the glass too with this stuff, but I'm gonna do the whole front end, just work my way all the way back to the end of the truck. We are about, I don't know, three quarters of the way done with the clay bar, maybe 60% or so. Um, it's looking real good, but what it's revealing is a lot of scratches. I think I need a full-on paint correction, but you know, I don't know if I'm going to keep this truck long enough to even do that, let alone if I'm going to even uh, keep it that nice because at some point, if I do keep it, it's going to be a Baja truck. So do we really need to do a paint correction? Because we're probably going to do a wrap and all sorts of random stuff, but uh, we're cruising along. I'm working this thing a little bit more because it got real dirty. So if you kind of work it, it gets the, the grid out of the main part, but Man, it's looking good. I'm hoping to be done by eight o'clock, which would make this like a, I don't know, three or four hour process. I started at about well, 4.30, so yeah, about a three and a half hour process, which isn't horrible, but my truck's gonna look, but the worst part is, is you're not gonna be able to see it because it's gonna be dark by the time I'm done. So tomorrow I'll have to try to do a big reveal. Well, we are all done clay barring this thing and it looks good. I mean, check this out. Here's some things that bug me. When they did the tent, see the bubbles? Yeah, awful job. Whoever did it sucked. I got it for a good deal, but still. Overall, this thing needs a whole lot of work. I think this needs a full paint correction, honestly, and I really don't want to do it. So if any of my YouTube friends live here in Colorado and want to be featured who are not already pushing videos on YouTube, hit me up. I'll bring it in. We can detail it together. It'll be like a free promo video. I'll Maybe I'll even pay you, okay? Because I know things cost money, time is money, but um, drop, be, drop me a, a comment below let me know if you have a company or uh, send me an email. I'll drop my email in there too if it's something you might wanna do. But it's time to get rolling on the ceramic coating. So you guys probably can't read that and you probably could care less about reading it, but this is the Adams Polishes Graphene Ceramic Spray Coating. So I just clay barred my car and I'm gonna put this on here. What it says to do is to spray it onto a microfiber towel and then wipe it in to the paint. You're not supposed to spray it directly onto the vehicle. That's what I thought you were supposed to do because you know, hence the word ceramic spray. But you're supposed to spray it into a microfiber cloth and then wipe it on. So we're going to start with that and uh, we'll see how this goes. It says you have to put it on, let it cure for two minutes and then buff it out. So I'll probably do, you know, the whole hood to start and we'll see how it looks and I'll tune back in with you. It's actually going on fairly fast, a lot faster than I thought. Basically all you do is rub it in, let it sit for two minutes. It'll get rainbow like, then it'll dry. I'm not sure if you can see the swirls in the paint. You might be able to see a little bit, but that's the ceramic coating like curing if you will then it says four more hours but so far this is going pretty quick i've done half the truck and it's been five minutes we are all done and some of you are probably gonna laugh but this literally told me i could ceramic coat anything so um the wheels and tires are ceramic coated i put some under here um we'll see if it does anything uh who knows maybe i wasn't supposed to do that or maybe it's gonna be just fine but the whole thing's been done I must say it does look good. It looks real shiny, but now that I did that, the clay bar, it definitely brings out all my scratches, but we're gonna have to wait till the morning to see how this thing really looks. I mean, in the garage, it looks pretty good. You can probably see a lot of scratches and swirls. Yeah, my paint's awful. Definitely needs a full paint correction or a wrap. Not sure what to do, but there it is. We are all done. I'll get a quick video tomorrow morning. 
so you guys can check it out. Good morning, guys. It is the next day after detailing the truck, and we're out front here to check this thing out in the natural light, and I must say, this thing looks dang good. I ended up driving it last night. Look at this scratch. Someone door dinged me. How annoying is that? And uh, I actually ceramic coated the, uh, the tires as well, and they look really good. But overall, I mean, this looks phenomenal. I'm so glad I did this. You definitely can't beat it. Uh, remember how I said yesterday it was so nice and I was wearing a tank top while detailing my truck? Well, today it's a little chillier and I'm wearing a sweatshirt drinking coffee trying to stay warm. But, God, this looks so good. It's almost like a mirror and I didn't even do like a paint correction. Look at this. That is phenomenal, you guys. Can't beat it. So, with that being said, if you guys are looking to detail your car, I definitely recommend getting some of these uh, Adams Polishes Ceramic Coating Spray. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll go get a water bottle real quick and do a quick test for you guys. So that way we can see if this actually worked or not. Because I know that's what ceramic is all about. So I got some water. Uh, we're going to test this out. But one thing, guys, this is not a paid promotion by Adams Polishes. I wish it was. I wish they gave me a free bottle to test out. But I had to go buy this stuff, okay? So, uh, you know, for me to say that it works pretty good, it, you know, I'm not here just trying to, you know, sell you guys on some company's product. But it actually works pretty good. But let's check this out. Here's water in a glass. Okay, that's incredible. Look at that. How awesome is that? I mean, it's sitting right here a little bit. I'll get a towel. But God, that, wor that worked so good. So like I said, guys, Adams Polishes Ceramic Coating. Go get it. Give it a try. I'm going to be really nitpicky because I like to take care of my vehicles. And I'm going to sit here and try to pick all the rocks out of my tires. But you guys... Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. If you like what you see, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that little bell notification if you want to get notified every time we post a new video. And most importantly, make sure you give us a thumbs up for the video. Thank you guys, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.